The First Minister of Scotland, Hamza Yousaf, has been accused of a conflict of interest of order overriding officials to give £250,000 or around US dollars to a Gaza aid agency while members of his family were trapped in the war zone. Yousaf stepped in after officials recommended around $128,000 to $250,000 in donation to UNICEF. He overruled their advice and declared that around $300,000 of taxpayers' money should instead be given to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency or UNRWA. The agency has faced allegations from Israel that it was involved in the October 7th Hamas attacks which led to many countries pulling out the funding for the agency. The Scottish government has given around $900,000 to UNRWA since the October 7th massacre. The Scottish government's donation was publicly announced on November 2nd, the same day that Yousaf met a delegation of senior UNRWA officials. The following day, that is November 3rd, his mother-in-law and father-in-law were given safe passage out of Gaza via the Rafa crossing. Yousaf, however, denied that the donation was in any way connected to the release of his family. However, the First Minister is facing accusations that his interference in the allocation of aid process amounted to a conflict of interest and questions over whether his actions breached the ministerial code. A senior member of the Scottish Parliament said that if Yousaf was unable to give a satisfactory explanation for his actions, he should face an inquiry. As per reports, a complaint has been made to the Metropolitan Police's anti-terror hotline and a submission is being prepared to send to Audit Scotland, which is the independent body that oversees how public money is spent in Scotland. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.